Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island, a secret chamber in England boasts a mysterious link to the island. On last night's episode of The Curse of Oak Island, the team headed to England to investigate the links between Templar Knights and Oak Island, and the expedition did not disappoint. The guys found themselves examining the mysterious carvings of a secret chamber in an old English town before heading to the UK's National Archives to look over ancient documents, all of which pointed tantalizingly in the direction of Oak Island. As reported in the episode's preview, members of the Oak Island team had been persuaded by Templar Knight expert and author Gretchen Cornwall to travel to Royston Cave in England, where they would find a secret chamber that could prove the medieval knights had traveled to Oak Island seven centuries ago. Marty and Alex Lagina were chosen to investigate, as they were considered the most skeptical about the Templar Knight connections. Historian Charles Barkhouse also tagged along to offer his expert opinion. At the Royston Cave, Gretchen brought several carvings to the guy's attention, but only one really stood out. It featured an engraving of a Christ-like figure on a cross that looked remarkably similar to the famous lead cross uncovered by Gary Drayton at Smith's Cove in 2017. Royston Cave Carving Mirrored Oak Island Lead Cross Analysis of the lead cross has led the team to believe it originates from southern France, dates as far back as 1200 AD, and may belong to the Templars. And the carving at Royston Cave resembled the lead cross quite closely, especially when comparing the leftward head tilt of the crucified figure featured on both. Also, the right arm of the cross on the carving and the lead cross are both shorter than the other arm. Alex also noticed the similarity between this carving and the ones found in the ancient Templar prison in Dom, France. The guys visited this prison in 2018 and learned that Templars had carved crosses into the walls while awaiting trial in 1307. Gretchen also pointed them to a date carved into the stone that read 1347, which was particularly intriguing, because that is the same date written on Zena Halpern's map of Oak Island, which she believed was created by Templar knights. Gretchen claimed this was proof the Templars had traveled to Oak Island that year and that this carving commemorated that voyage. So, were Marty and Alex cured of their Templar skepticism? Well, not quite, but they are certainly intrigued enough to believe it warrants further investigation. Oak Island team examines the UK National Archives for clues to the mystery. Marty, Alex, and Charles weren't quite finished with England. They then headed to the UK's National Archives in London, where they found some very interesting documents relating to Duct Anvil and his expedition to Nova Scotia in 1746. The rather grandly named Admiral Jean-Baptiste Louis Frédéric de la Rochefoucauld de Roy Duct Anvil was the leader of an expedition that made war against the British in an attempt to bring the eastern Canadian seaboard under French control. The Oak Island team has long theorized that Duct and Ville may have buried treasure on Oak Island, and now they saw British Navy documents that placed the Frenchman in the area of Oak Island months before his supposed first visit to the area. This means that Duct and Ville could have visited Oak Island on more than one occasion and might have known the area better than the guys had realized. Perfect for hiding treasure, perhaps. In the heart of England, Nestled amidst the rolling hills and ancient woods, there lies an estate whose history is as enigmatic as it is grand. The estate, known as Ravenwood Manor, has long been a subject of local lore and fascination, not least because of the rumors of a secret chamber hidden deep within its foundations. For generations, the whispers have persisted telling of a hidden room that holds a connection to the infamous Oak Island in Nova Scotia, a place renowned for its elusive treasure and myriad of theories. Ravenwood Manor was built in the early 17th century by Lord William Blackwood, a man whose life was shrouded in mystery and adventure. Blackwood was an explorer and a scholar known for his voyages to the New World. It is said that during one of these expeditions, he discovered something extraordinary on Oak Island, a secret that he carried back with him to England. Upon his return, Blackwood ordered the construction of a secret chamber within his estate, accessible only through a labyrinth of hidden passageways. 
For years, the existence of this chamber was nothing more than a legend, a tale to frighten children or excite the imaginations of the curious. However, in the late 20th century, a series of renovations at Ravenwood Manor led to the accidental discovery of a concealed door behind a bookcase in the manor's extensive library, or open to reveal a narrow staircase descending into the earth, its walls lined with aged oak paneling, a curious material given the manor's stone construction. At the bottom of the staircase lay the fabled secret chamber, untouched for centuries. Within, the air was thick with the scent of old parchment and musty wood. The room itself was small, dominated by a large oak table in the center, upon which rested a collection of ancient maps, journals, and curious artifacts. The walls were adorned with tapestries depicting scenes of exploration and conquest, with one in particular drawing immediate attention, a detailed rendering of Oak Island, marked with cryptic symbols and annotations. Among the documents on the table was a weathered journal belonging to Lord Blackwood himself. Its pages, brittle and yellowed with age, detailed his journey to Oak Island and the extraordinary discoveries he made there. According to Blackwood's account, he had indeed found a treasure on the island, but it was not gold or jewels. Instead, it was a repository of knowledge, ancient manuscripts and artifacts that hinted at a secret history of the world, one that predated even the oldest known civilizations. Blackwood's journal described how he carefully documented and removed some of these items, bringing them back to England to study further. He believed that the secrets of Oak Island were too dangerous to be left unguarded and too powerful to be disclosed to the world. Thus, he created the secret chamber at Ravenwood Manor to house these items securely. Among the most intriguing of the artifacts was a small, intricately carved chest made from the same oak wood that seemed to connect Ravenwood to Oak Island. The chest, when opened, revealed a collection of scrolls inscribed with a language that no scholar had ever seen before. Accompanying these scrolls was a series of stone tablets bearing a strange, indecipherable script and a map that appeared to show the layout of Oak Island's infamous money pit, along with several other subterranean structures that had never been discovered by modern treasure hunters. The discovery of the secret chamber at Ravenwood Manor sent shockwaves through the archaeological community. Scholars and historians flocked to the manor, eager to study the artifacts and decipher the mysteries they held. The connection to Oak Island, long considered a mere legend, now had tangible evidence to support it. The revelation that Lord Blackwood had not only explored the island but had also retrieved and hidden away some of its secrets added a new layer to the enduring mystery. As researchers delved deeper into Blackwood's journals and the artifacts within the chamber, they began to piece together a story that spanned continents and centuries. The scrolls and tablets suggested that Oak Island had been a place of significance for an ancient and forgotten civilization, one that possessed advanced knowledge of engineering, astronomy, and perhaps even navigation. Civilization, it seemed, had chosen Oak Island as a repository for their most valuable secrets— entrusting them to the island's natural defenses and their own ingenuity. The map of the money pit, with its detailed annotations and previously unknown locations, reignited interest in Oak Island among modern treasure hunters. Expeditions were launched with renewed vigor, guided by the clues provided by Blackwood's documents. The secrets of Oak Island, once thought to be lost to time, now seemed within reach, thanks to the hidden chamber in Ravenwood Manor. The manor itself became a site of pilgrimage for enthusiasts of the Oak Island mystery. Visitors marveled at the craftsmanship of the secret chamber, the preserved artifacts, and the tantalizing hints of a lost world. The connection between Ravenwood and Oak Island, forged centuries ago by a daring explorer, continued to captivate and inspire those who sought to uncover the truth. In the end, the secret chamber at Ravenwood Manor did more than shed light on the mystery of Oak Island. It reminded the world of the enduring allure of the unknown, the thrill of discovery, and the timeless quest for hidden treasures. Lord Blackwood's legacy, entwined with the enigmatic island, lived on, 
a testament to the power of curiosity and the endless possibilities that lie hidden just beneath the surface of history.